G'day folks, it's Patrick here. Well today, I've got something new and delicious to try, and it's these. Kippers, that's right folks. Traditional Scottish kippers. And I've also got a tin of these. John West smoked kippers. So I'm gonna try both of them, and I'm gonna make two completely different recipes out of both of these things. Um, I've got no idea what it'll be yet, but uh, I can't wait to get stuck on in, so let's get going. Righto folks, well, you know, this uh, Kipper video was suggested to me on a live stream that I was on on the mighty Taz Daz Down Under channel, folks. I don't know how that happened, but anyway, what I've decided to do is make some pasta here. I have some macaroni there. Um, that's going to boil up, and in the meantime, I'm going to make a sauce with some of these. Uh, I've got a bit of mushroom and onion there that I had left over. I'm going to make a sauce out of this, uh, put some flour in there with it, uh, mix that around to get the flour taste out, then add the milk, um, and then, uh, oh, that's right, and here are the kippers. Um, we're going to tip that kipper juice in there. May as well not let it go to waste, eh? Probably going to taste a bit better than sastroming juice on tipping. Anyway, uh, in with the milk, as we said, and uh, we'll make a sauce out of it using some plastic cheese. Now for the Scottish kippers, folks. Uh, these ones in this big box here, they're frozen. Uh, it says remove all packaging, thaw and grill. Uh, place frozen kippers on a microwave plate and nuke them. Right, oh, well, we best have a look inside this package and see what's going on, eh? Well, before we do that, what's it got? Smoked herring. What? This product contains bones? Oh, no. Oh, I hate bones in fish, anyway. Let's have a look at what's going on here. Oh, good, what's that? Fish eyes, oh, I don't know about this. Maybe this was a bad idea. Anyway, I'm not gonna stop now. I'm gonna get on with it here. Hmm, very interesting. Well, let's chuck these in the, uh, in the old uh, uh, griller with some bacon and uh, see how it all turns out, eh? Righto, now, here's this uh, kipper sandwich, folks. Here it is. Time to try it. Mm. The smokiness of those kippers, folks, absolutely unbelievable. But of course, very fiddly because I didn't like having to remove all those bones. I don't like fish bones, folks. But the cream cheese, the bacon, the tomato, and the onion on there, perfect combination. That's how I love to eat it. Now let's try the pasta. There is, folks, the uh, the John West uh, smoked kipper pasta with the, uh, the mushrooms and so on and so on, the onions. Mm. That's really nice too, but the John West Kippers are nowhere near as strong in flavour as those other ones. But the John West Kippers don't have any bones in them, folks, so it's a bit of a toss-up, isn't it, really? I like them both. I love this pasta. I love that sandwich. And that, my friends, 
is how you eat kippers.